We're asked to translate the following information into an equation and then solve. Two-fifths of the people in the senior center dining room are men. If there are 64 men, what is the total number of people in the dining room? And we're told to use the verbal n. Let's let the verbal n equal the total number of people in the dining room. And now from here, we know two-fifths of the people in the dining room are men, and there are 64 men, which means two-fifths of n, or two-fifths times n, must equal 64, which gives us the equation two-fifths n equals 64. And now if we solve the equation for n, we can determine the total number of people in the dining room. In order to solve for n, we need to isolate n on one side of the equation, and since two-fifths n means two-fifths times n, we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by two-fifths. But remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, and therefore, to solve for n, we will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of two-fifths, which is five-halves. On the left, we have five-halves times two-fifths, which is ten-tenths or one, and one times n is n or we can simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators before multiplying. Simplifying out the common factor of five, five divided by five simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator. Simplifying out the common factor of two, two divided by two simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator as well, giving us one times n, which again is n. And now on the right, let's write 64 as a fraction with a denominator of one. Before multiplying, two and 64 share a common factor of two. Simplifying out the common factor of two, two divided by two simplifies to one in the denominator. 64 divided by two simplifies to 32 in the numerator. Notice now we just have five times 32, which is equal to 160. And therefore, n is equal to 160, and therefore there are a total of 160 people in the dining room. Before we go, let's verify n equals 160 does satisfy the equation two-fifths n equals 64. If we substitute 160 for n, we have two-fifths times 160 equals 64. And let's check the product on the left on the calculator. Two-fifths times 160 is 64. 64 equals 64 is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.